back? What was your position? I was a defenseman. Not a forward, not a winger? No, no well, I started out, you know, a winger when I was little, but uh, after a while I kind of had to move back to the, de the defense. Uh, I liked that it was a fast-paced game. It was something, you know, as an offensive line, there's not much glory, you know, stats or anything, but, you know, you can make anything happen on the ice, so it was kind of a way to prove my athleticism. Have they talked about at all where they project you more of an interior guy, guard, uh, potential center? Have they, they got specific about where they, where they envision you? With Coach Woods, it was pretty strictly guard. Um, but now talking to Coach Rudolph, I think it's going to kind of shift around, you know, where they need the help, at, uh, at what time I'm ready, you know, it's all that kind of stuff that's going to factor into it. What kind of advantage is it to be here right now, not just the, you know, the weight room, be able to take spring ball and, and have an opportunity to possibly be in the two deep if, if not one? Uh, it's a great opportunity, obviously. Um, I'm just excited to get to work with these guys and see how it all falls. Yeah. When you say shift around after talking to Coach Rudolph, is it still in the interior or it could it even be a tackle spot? It could even be a tackle spot. So basically any place on the left? Uh, yeah, I guess other than center. We, I, I mean, I kind of told him I've never snapped them all before, so that'd be a little bit <laughs> difficult. But yeah, guard tackle is pretty okay. much what we've talked about. You and Alec and Jake have had a relationship. How was how nice was it for those two kind of join this class late in the process? It was really good. You know, I was talking to those guys for a while, and they were the kind of guys that just bleed red and white. I mean, it was just it, it excited me more than them. I think sometimes when, when I saw you know their names all over Twitter and all that stuff for getting the offers and their commits, and uh, so I was pretty excited. Has there ever been time these past couple weeks where you kind of seen the class? Deteriorate, not deteriorate, but like lose guys and lose guys that you probably were close to. It's been tough to watch that. Uh, it's been a little tough. There's a couple guys that I got pretty close with through the process that, uh, you know, they, they they've, they're on different paths now. But um, for whatever reason that is, uh, I wish them luck. So. But it's a disappointment to see it's, to not have them here with you. I guess it's a little disappointing, but um, I mean, I'm not in control of what they're going to do, so it's up to them. Offensive line obviously has such a huge tradition here, and I know you know most people see that and want to come here. Was that the number one thing that stood out when you decided to? I don't think there was a top thing, but uh, that was definitely a big factor in it. Is there a certain lineman that you've always admired or tried yeah, to model your game after? Him? Joe Thomas was always my my biggest. Um, when he was playing, I obviously probably wasn't watching too much football at the time, but uh, you know, growing up and learning about him and uh, watching him play for the Browns is, is he's he's something special. Just a kind of a unique 